All right, guys, I want to go over uh, a couple of things uh, on the El Camino. So you know that um, it's now got a 373 rear end in it. It used to have a 241 gear. And, um, you know, it was actually even tricky to get this thing to run, uh, you know, trying to calculate that that gear. Um, whatever's hard-coded in the computer, it didn't like it. But I was able to do a lot of things to trick it into running that way. But now that we have a 373 rear end that's going to be a lot easier to calculate but i wanted to go over um uh, you know how to how to set this up in the team you know because i know some of you guys are probably curious about it um so what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the tire size and this is a 245-45-17 okay so what we're going to do is go onto the computer and uh I'm actually doing something I've never done before. I'm trying this uh, screen capture. That's why I've got my headphones on so that the microphone's going to the computer. Um, so I'm gonna switch to that now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna go to this um, gear tire wizard. And what I actually did is I Googled the tire size and got the specs for the tire so i'll show you that now and what we got for 245 4517 is um it's showing 25.74 which is going to be the diameter of the wheel so you see the old settings in the computer 31.93 which i guess would have been the stock tire size on the the truck this computer came out of so what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to put the uh, 25.74 and we're going to keep the 373 gear. So we're going to hit that and uh, we're going to adjust the speedometer calibration and scale the transmission parameters. And uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and hit adjust. And you're still gonna have to drive it and uh, you know test a few things, but I'll show you where it um, you know made changes in the the shift speed. Let's see, it's gonna be like this. See, all these tables have been changed because before these would have just been uh, blue like this one. So it calculated the um, you know shift speeds and everything for the transmission for that tire size and. Um, you know, I've, I've done this several times and it's usually pretty good. Um, you know, sometimes you got to adjust your, your full throttle shift or whatever, data log it and look at the the um, shift speed versus the RPMs. You may have to come in here and, and maybe bump your RPM up a little bit if it's hitting the rev limiter or something or make some small adjustments. Um, but the other thing this thing did, if you look at the speedometer, see it changed this uh, revolutions per mile setting and the pulses per mile. And um, that's basically where your speedometer corrections are going to come in is, is this setting right here. Uh, and obviously the revolutions per mile. So, uh, you know, if your speedometer is still off by two or three miles an hour or something like that, you know, you can either play with the tire gear wizard, you know, and try to just change the um, tire diameter. So if it's, if it's reading fast, um, you know, like say you're actually going 55 and it's reading 60, um, you know, you would actually want to go up on the tire size. So where we had put that, um, I'll show you this again, where we had put that 2574, um, uh, you know, you might want to try say 26.0 and calculate that. And that's going to change your, um, your pulse per mile and your, your gear ratio and tire size and all that stuff, the revolutions per mile. And, um, that's going to be the way to dial in your speedometer. So, um, uh, once you get the speedometer accurate, that's that's the main thing, um, is getting the speedometer reading accurate. You're going to want to check it versus a, a um, you know, GPS device like, you know, an app in your phone or something like that. And make sure that, that you get the speedometer to match. And, um, and once you get to that point, then you can come in here to your trans shift tables. You know, your, your part throttle shift is going to be the main one you want to adjust. And, um, you know, your, your linear gains on the the table should be fine so you know let's say if you're driving around and it seems to shift really too quick or or maybe it holds the gear too long or something you can highlight this entire table and say 
you want to take out two miles per hour, you know, you'll just hit negative two right there and add that to it. And see, I just pulled two miles an hour out of this entire table. And uh, that's going to be, you know, basically the, the best way to adjust everything. We'll put that back. But, um, but anyway, that way you can get your transmission stuff dialed in. And then your wide open shifts, which that's going to be really the most likely critical thing uh, because you don't want it to hit the rev limiter, you know, when it shifts. And uh, that's a common problem with gear changes. So, uh, you know, you're going to want to data log it. And when you data log it, you know, you can see, you know, you go in there and play it back, look at your RPM versus your speed. And uh, basically, let's say first gear hits 26 miles per hour, but it bounces off the rev limiter. Um, your problem may be that your RPMs are already past this set point. Um, so you have a couple of options there. You can either, um, you know, let's let's say you're at 5,800 RPMs when this thing hits 26 miles per hour. Um, your, your options are, if you want to keep your RPM shifting at that RPM, then you're going to want to lower the speed below the rpm uh, you know so you would want to come in here and say put this on 23 miles per hour um, as opposed to 26. if you're not that worried about the the exact speed or you want it to shift higher uh, you don't have to mess with that one so much because uh, I'll, I'll explain this to you when the computer sees the speed like basically in order for these two to happen right here it's got to make this one first and then it watches for this table so once the 26 miles per hour is made okay that you see right here once that 26 miles per hour is made then it's going to look to this table for this the rpm that it shifts at so the problem is if it doesn't match close enough and what, what i mean is is if you get to 26 miles per hour and you're already over 5600 rpms it's just going to bounce off the rev limiter until you get out of the full throttle mode so whatever your full throttle is set at, um, you're gonna have to let off the throttle enough to get out of full throttle mode for it to shift in that scenario. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to say is, is you gotta make sure that your speed is being met first before the RPMs. And uh, you know, I mean, you could set, you know, right now this thing's set at 2600 and 5600 RPMs. So if I wanted this thing to shift at 7,000, I can change this number right now to 7,000 RPMs and not even adjust this. This can stay right where it's at as long as this speed is made first before the rpm is met um you know you're gonna have a good wide open throttle shift so uh that's what i'm gonna have to check and see how it how it drives and everything uh, but i just wanted to show you guys that because that that's a pretty quick way to calculate all your shift speeds and everything you know it comes in here and adjusts basically everything and uh like i said if it you know if you're still having problems with the um you know your shift speed or anything like that you can always come in here and um you know basically add you know one or two miles an hour if it's just one gear that's that's acting up you know you can just adjust this one or uh you know most likely you would want to come in here and highlight the entire table and say um uh, you know we want to add two miles an hour because it's short shifting you know so you can add that to the whole table and it's also going to adjust your this table's got upshift from first to second, second, third, third, and fourth, but it's also got your downshifts from fourth, fourth to third, third to second, and second to first. So, um, basically, uh, you know, you need these to, to match. You know, so if you add two or three miles an hour to this three to four shift, you're gonna also have to add three or four miles an hour to your four to three shift table, you know, to keep them, to keep them where it acts correctly, so. Uh, I just wanted to go over that stuff with you guys right quick.